But first, breaking news. A police chase ends in a deadly crash in Seattle's Lake City neighborhood. Right now, investigators are on that scene near 35th Avenue Northeast and Northeast 125th Street. The intersection is expected to be closed for hours. Cameron Sutton's Michael Spears joins us now live. And Michael, we understand one person has died. Well, police say the passenger in this stolen car was killed on impact. You can see here live the car wedged into the back of this garbage truck. Investigators say the driver of that car had led them on a chase and that it came to an end when they crashed into the garbage truck here on the corner. I'm going to show you some uh, daylight video from earlier. Police say around 2.15 this afternoon, officers spotted a car uh, parked behind a grocery store. Uh, they say it matched the description of a stolen car. And after walking up, officers said they spotted a warrant suspect inside. And then they say the woman behind the wheel of the car then hit the gas, nearly hitting the officers. And the police chase started that ended here at Northeast 125th near 35th Avenue when that driver crashed, as you saw there, live into the back of that garbage truck. Now, we do know this involved a warrant suspect, according to police. We did ask whether or not uh, they could provide details on the warrant. At this point, they're not. They say the driver, after crashing into the garbage truck, then tried to climb out of this and get away, but she was detained and then taken to the hospital where she is being evaluated. So here live, we are working to get... An update on that woman's condition, that part's not clear. And what you're looking at is live investigators reconstructing the crash here and collecting evidence that will be part of this investigation. That work continues. This intersection, northeast 125th at 35th Avenue, expected to be closed for several more hours because of this. Now, as I noted, we are working to get more information on that woman's condition. Also working to talk to some of the witnesses and people in this area about what they heard and saw. We'll have a live update coming up here on Cairo 7 at 6 p.m. For now, we're live in Lake City. I'm Michael Spears, Cairo 7 News.